assalamu alaikum everyone i hope you all are fine today we are going to start a new topic that is making a card and from this unit only one exercise is included in your syllabus and it's use of apostrophe from grammar focus so let's start learning about use of apostrophe and where do we use apostrophe let's see the first type is possessives rule number one in possessives is use an apostrophe to indicate ownership by a singular noun or proper noun not ending in s an apostrophe with an s after a proper noun indicates that the person place or thing owns whatever noun follows his or her name for example, whose bag is this? You can see in the picture, it is the girl's bag. So bag is the possession of girl and we have used apostrophe with girl and we have added here S. Another example, whose nose? The boy's nose is small. You can see here the boy is singular but we have added here apostrophe with s to show the possession of nose which belongs to boy let's see some more examples of possessives the lawyer's money whose money is lawyer's money the manager's time a staff's responsibility a baby's cry and elephants years same rule applies to singular common nouns it is easier to remember that if it is a common noun without an s you put an apostrophe s to show possession rule number two for names ending in s like john's charles or Davis you may just put an apostrophe after the s for example Charles bathroom or you may also put an apostrophe with s as Charles law here are a few examples for you Lourdes shoes or Lourdes shoes you can use in both ways Davis car or Davis car Juni John's office or Juni John's office, Jules research or Jules research. But remember always you never say Jesus stories or Moses family. It should be always like Jesus apostrophe stories or Moses apostrophe family. Rule number three use apostrophe to indicate ownership by a plural noun this can be confusing the smith family is composed of many persons so it is plural therefore you refer to them as the smiths likewise the simpson family is composed of many family members which makes it plural therefore you say the Simpsons, we don't put apostrophe before S or after S. Now let's see some comparisons. The boy's bike versus the boy's bikes. A guy's dream versus many guys fantasy. An elephant's years versus two elephants years. Now in these examples, you can notice in the first statement, the boy's bike it is showing the boy is singular and you have put apostrophe before s in the second statement the boys is plural and we have put apostrophe after s a guy's dream guy is singular so we have put apostrophe before s many guys is plural and we have put apostrophe after s an elephant is singular so we have put apostrophe before s and two elephants is plural so we have put apostrophe after s 
If the plural form of the noun does not end in s, put an apostrophe plus s. For example, men's shoes. So, men is irregular plural and we, there is no s with men. So, we need to put apostrophe and then s to show the possession of men. Same is with women, women's clothing. So, women is plural and we have put apostrophe and s. Your teeth color, teeth already is plural and we have put apostrophe and s. These all are irregular plurals. Rule number four, if there are two nouns showing possession to the same thing, then you put the apostrophe s after the second noun. For example, era and airlines office, both go to the same office. So, we have put apostrophe after the second name, Erlin's office. Tin and Ray's report, that means both made the report. So, we have put apostrophe after second name, Ray. Jared and Gems savings. So, here you can see again that Gems is having apostrophe because it is the second name. If the two nouns own two different things, you put the apostrophe S to both nouns. For example, Eras and Erlin's offices are far from each other. Now you can see here they are not sharing the same office, their offices are different. So we have put apostrophe with both names. Jared's and Gem's savings total to 1 million. That means it is individually a saving of Jared and Jemmy. Tins and Ray's reports made it to the deadline. Now you can see again Tins report and Ray's report are different to each other. Now let's talk about contraction with pronouns. I am sure you are familiar about this concept and you have read many contractions in your reading. Here the first contraction is we are, we are, you'd, you would, you have, you have, there, they are, it's, it is, you'd, you had. These are the contracted form and we write the contractions with the help of apostrophe. Now let's see another example. It's the most populated country in Asia. Now here it means China and apostrophe S means S. That means it is the contraction of the complete word it is. In the second example, its population is the biggest in Asia. Here you can see there is no contraction. That means it is showing possession. Whose population? China's population. China's population is the biggest in Asia. Its population is the biggest in Asia. Remember that it replaces a noun. It's used to show possession. There is no apostrophe with it. And its contraction of it is. You need to be very careful while using apostrophe. Do not put apostrophe S to form plurals. We cannot make plurals by adding apostrophe s. For example, an apple, many apples. So we cannot say many apple apostrophe s to make the apples plural. In the second example, the Wilsons are here. We cannot say the Wilsons apostrophe are here. So it is the wrong usage of apostrophe. Here is a quiz for you. You are going to read these two statements and identify the use of apostrophe and check which statement do you think is correct and which one is incorrect. In the first statement, the children's after S they have used apostrophe and teeth's after S they have used apostrophe, color is yellow. In the second statement, the children apostrophe S, teeth apostrophe S, color is yellow. Yes. We can think and give the answer. Do you think the statement one is correct or the second? Yes. 
The second statement is the correct answer because children is irregular plural and teeth is also an irregular plural and with irregular plural we do not add s to make it plural. So here children's teeth is showing possession and this is the correct usage of apostrophe. I am sure students you have understood about the use of apostrophe. See you in the next lesson. Take care. Allah Hafiz.